One of the real challenges I constantly hear about from so many people with aging parents is the whole issue about driving, about how do you get them out of the car when you yourself feel that they shouldn't be driving anymore. The real issue is that that parent feels like he or she is just fine behind the wheel. They've always been behind the wheel since their teens and now they're in their maybe 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond. So they've been driving for a long time and there's a comfort level, but more importantly, it's really a sense of independence. Driving is about independence. It's not just the mobility to get around, it's about the power, the ability, knowing that you're okay to drive. Well, oftentimes, a parent's not. And case in point, I'll give you an example. My father had macular degeneration, and for years, even after his uh, um, ophthalmologist said, you know, you shouldn't be driving anymore, he drove. And he memorized the test so he could pass it without even seeing it. It was amazing. It was quite remarkable, actually, of sheer tenacity. But I know that sometimes I would drive with him, and I'd say, well, let me drive. And he said, no, no, I need to drive. I said, well, no, I'll, I'll drive. No, no, I'll drive. So he drove. And every intersection was an adventure because by then his sight was so bad, he basically could not tell whether the light was red or green. And he couldn't even see very a lot of the traffic. But what he did was he watched. And if the cars were going this way, he'd stop. If the car started going this way, he went. And so that's how he drove. It took a long time for me to try to convince him that actually driving was not to his advantage anymore, and certainly not anybody else's who's around him. And sometimes it's a matter of letting a parent discover for him or herself that there's an advantage to not driving. In my case, I said to my father, you know what, look what it's costing you to keep this car in the garage for six days a week. Uh, there's the gas, the insurance, then, then you have you know, the, just the general upkeep and everything else. So do you realize how many cab rides you could take for that amount of money? Well, I kind of left it there. And a few, weeks, a few weeks later, my father said, you know, I've been thinking about it. And, and yeah, maybe, maybe I should stop driving. I, I'm getting old now anyway. It's getting harder, especially in the winter. And maybe, maybe it'd be just as well to take cabs. I think when I added up the money, I'd actually be ahead. And I said, you know, that's a good idea. Well, power of persuasion, it wasn't even that. It was a power of suggestion. And in the case of my father, it took a little while and it worked and I felt safer and better. And I think uh, he probably acknowledged at some level that he shouldn't be driving, but what I gave him was an economic out. I gave him a way of face saving, of not feeling that independence had been taken away from him, but that he made a decision about how he was going to exercise his independence. And that's the lesson that I should have learned, I can tell you that.